Hi guys! So if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should, then you already know what this video is going to be. I am doing a drugstore full coverage foundation routine. I'm actually not going to be doing my eyes on camera. I wanted to kind of do a drugstore eye look but I ain't really feeling that no more. <laughs> I just want to do um, a full coverage foundation routine um, and I'm going to incorporate like glowy skin. Full coverage and glowy skin is the trend right now so I'm gonna go ahead and knock those two out the way. It's getting better but I've been having a sore throat for the past two or three days so if I sound a little odd then that is why. I have three foundations. Um, one of them's over there. Before I started this video, I googled which foundation is um, full coverage because I don't really use the L'Oreal True Match that often, but I do know the coverage for the Fit Me and the coverage for my L'Oreal Infallible. Well, the Infallible foundation is actually the fullest coverage according to online, but I don't really want to use that because not everybody is oily and not everybody um, would like that but the Maybelline matte and poreless isn't a harsh matte so even if you are kind of dry you can use this with a good primer a good moisturizer and this will still work for you so I feel like this is a universal foundation so this is the one that I chose today so I'm going to apply this with my Morphe M439 brush because this is a full coverage look and full coverage you want to use a dense brush like this you can use this or you can use like the Sigma F80 I think it's the F80 or the F88 um, either one of those brushes will be great for full coverage and if you are on a super budget then I would recommend the elf powder brush for a full coverage any one of these brushes that I just named are great for full coverage looks but my favorite is the morphe m439 I also have a video on my favorite brushes and this is one of them so go check out that video too so I'm going to just apply my foundation and then we're gonna move on to the next step my favorite concealer at the moment anyway is a drugstore concealer the um, superstay better skin concealer um, I actually because uh, when you want to do a full coverage look you want to kind of mix concealers just to give the best coverage um you can definitely build up this concealer or like um, the LA girl pro concealer you can build that up just by itself but to get the ultimate coverage if you combine the two you don't have to keep putting layer on layer I don't really think you have to layer this one or this one but I just want to use them both <laughs> and then blend them out with my Real Technique sponge even though sponges are said to take a lot of your products but because I am doing two different concealers I kind of wanted to take a little bit of products and the Real Technique sponge in my opinion takes less product than the Beauty Blender because the Real Technique sponge is stiffer than the Beauty Blender so I am going to use a sponge even though um, brushes give you full coverage if you do want to use a brush you can use the real techniques brush let me get it you can use this brush right here the real technique sculpting brush this brush is perfect for blending out concealer because it's angled so it fits right here like under your eye and on your chin and all of that stuff it's easy to fit in those areas because it is angled like that so if you want a brush then that's perfect but for this time i just really want to use the real technique sponge to blend out my concealer so that is what we're gonna do and then you want to go back in with your foundation brush and just make sure there isn't a harsh transition between your concealer and your foundation now that we've gotten our concealer on we're going to set with my Coty airspun face powder in the shade naturally neutral now this is not available in Walmart in my area but I don't know where you guys are living some places I have this actually in Walmart but I had to order this online for Walmart but it's still drugstore I'm going to use the same sponge that I used to blend out my concealer I'm just using the this side that you're seeing me hold up and I'm just going to put it into my powder and just set the areas that I just put my concealer and to dust it away I'm using my elf complexion brush So yesterday when I went to Target, I did pick up some new things. 
and I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Powder because I needed something to set my entire face with after I used my setting powder which I knew was going to make me look ashy. So I'm just going to apply that with my e.l.f. powder brush and we'll see how it goes. Okay, now I'm kind of cheating with this product because this is not drugstore, but it is affordable and that is the Morphe 9C palette. And the only reason why that I'm using it is because I am in love with these two shades on top of my setting powder. So I got to use it. I got to use it. If you don't want to buy this because it's not um, in a drugstore and some people don't like ordering stuff online, I totally get it. Then just skip past this part because I got to use this palette. All right, that wasn't that bad. I'm done cheating. I ain't got nothing else to cheat about. <laughs> I don't think. Now we're going to move on to bronzer, which our face looks really good as far as full coverage. So we're moving on to bronzer. And for bronzer, I am using the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark Tan. You guys already know about this bronzer on my channel. You know, for as many times as I've used it, I still have not hit pan. So... You know what, this was a good purchase. I'm putting it on with a Morphe M402 brush. If you need a bronzer brush that doesn't make your contour look super harsh like other angled brushes or like those flat brushes, if you just want like a not super, super sculpted look but like a natural looking bronzer finish, whatever, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, then this brush is perfect. All right, now for highlight, I couldn't find a powder highlighter at the drugstore. I don't know if they were just out or none of the brands have it, but I did find an illuminator that I'm just going to use on the highest points of my face. All right, that's probably best to use before you put on your powder. Um, I had a little bit of trouble, but you know, we got there. We're still glowing. This was so fun, like so fun. I um, really like this powder. I'll let you guys know if my oil still seep through with this powder, even though it's supposed to give me a matte finish and last for 16 hours. I really, really liked this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes and my lip color off camera and I'll be right back to wrap up this video. All right, this is the completed look, my drugstore full coverage makeup tutorial. If you want to see details for my eyeshadow look and my lip color, it will already be on my Instagram by the time this video is up. So go ahead and go follow my Instagram so you can see daily pictures of my makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Alright, so this part is for my Snapchat people. I promised you guys that I would add at the end my products that I would use for like a sheer coverage. So I'm going to do that now for you guys. So these products aren't something that you can buy like Walmart, they're a little bit more expensive, but these are the products that I would use if I wanted a sheer coverage. I would first use the MAC Face and Body Foundation. It is a um, sheer, very sheer coverage foundation. Its base is water. I don't really think you can build this up by itself. It's very sure coverage, so if I was doing going for something lighter, I would use the MAC Face and Body. And then for concealer, I would use the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer because this is a buildable concealer. It is full coverage if you use a lot of it, but if you use a little bit, this is a sheer coverage as well. Well, not really sheer, but it's light. It's the lightest concealer that I actually own. When I use this, I do have to use a little bit more to get a full coverage and I probably would dust just a little bit of a powder that matches my skin tone all over my face. I wouldn't worry too much about setting specific areas. So thank you guys for um, letting me know that you did want to see this portion of the video for me to talk about my sheer coverage routine, what I would use. Um, make sure if you are not following my Snapchat that you go ahead and follow it. It'd be right here. Also my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm trying to get better at Twitter. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs> um, what are you doing, Chris Brown? It's so inappropriate for an album that's named after your child. Oh, I forgot primer. <sighs> okay, whatever. You guys probably don't even care. <laughs>
do nothing. 